Tonight, we're getting a firsthand look at the destruction an EF3 tornado left behind in East Brainerd through the eyes of a first responder. And we're hearing more about the quick decisions he made that probably saved lives. Heavy rain and wind can be seen in this surveillance video as the Easter Sunday storm moved through East Brainerd. The blue flashing lights on your screen is Chattanooga police officer Stephen Johnston in his patrol car. And that's when my car got picked up and spun around. Uh, that's when I just, I grabbed my PA. I, I was able to get it in drive. It was still functioning. I grabbed the PA and she started screaming. I was like, hey, get inside, get inside the food city. Then he turned around and saw a car at a gas pump across the parking lot. A young woman was inside. I ran down there, banged on her window, said, hey, get inside now. There's a tornado right there. Okay. He helped the woman and others nearby get to the back of the store. They were feet away from the EF3 tornado as it ripped through. And everything just went black. Um, power poles were being snapped into and because uh, the tornado was passing right by us. Johnston's body camera captured the destruction moments after the tornado hit. I ended up having to park my car on Jenkins Road near Morris Hill and walking it, just climbing over trees and telephone poles and everybody, everything. Chattanooga Police Department, are you okay in there? He walked door to door looking for who needed help the most. You okay? Yes, I'm fine. I just don't have any blood. Johnston credits his experiences in combat with the ability to think on his feet, and his supervisors say there is no doubt he probably saved some lives that night, including the young woman at the gas pump. She sought shelter under what she thought was a strong building. But, you know, my father is an engineer, so I grew up looking at buildings and looking at plans. Hey, this is Officer Johnston with the Chattanooga Police Department. Dozens of police officers, firefighters, and other first responders have stories similar to Johnston's. We may never hear them all, but this video gives us a small glimpse into how noble the men and women are who put others before themselves in terrifying moments. Now, Johnston's patrol car had three flat tires and part of his bumper was ripped off but from being picked up and spun around in that storm. And you may have noticed his arm was in a sling. He's okay. Working to clear storm debris has aggravated an old injury.